Hello everyone. Today we will deal with the suspension systems. That is module 3 of automobile engineering part 1. And the presentation deals with the type of front axle, suspension, torsion bar suspension systems, leaf springs and coil spring. Front axle. The automobile phase is mounted on axle, not direct but through some form of springs. Generally, front axles also contain all the steering mechanism. The front axle are of two types. One is live axle and the other one is dead axle. Live axle is the one where the engine power is directly transmitted to that axle. If no engine power is transmitted, then such axles are known as dead axles. Suspension system. All the parts which perform the function of isolating the automobile from the road shop are collectively called as the suspension system. Broadly speaking, suspension system consists of a spring and a damper. The energy of the road shop causes the spring to oscillate. These oscillations are restricted to a reasonable level by the damper, which is more commonly called as the shock absorber. The main objectives of the suspension system are they should prevent the road shock from being transmitted to the vehicle component, thereby providing suitable riding and cushioning effect to the occupant. It should provide stability for the moving vehicle during pitching or rolling. It should also provide safe vehicle control which is free from irritating vibration. And it should reduce the wear on tire. This figure on the slide shows you the three different axes of a vehicle. The first one is called as the vertical axis, longitudinal axis and transverse axis. If the vehicle rotates on the vertical axis then that moment is called as yaw. If the vehicle rotates on longitudinal axis, that is called as roll and if the vehicle rotates on transverse axis, such moments are called as pitch. Generally, suspensions are broadly classified into independent suspensions and non-independent suspensions. As you can see in the figure, independent suspensions do not affect the other wheel while the non-independent suspension when one wheel moves over the bump it also affects the other wheel as you can see in non-independent type the other wheel is also tilted while in the independent type the other wheel is not affected suspension spring Spring stores the energy when deflected by a bump on the road. On re releasing, it expands the sto stored energy, vibrating with some frequency. Amplitude of the vibrations decrease exponentially. The broad classification of springs are steel springs, rubber springs, and air springs. And a steel spring, it is again classified to leaf springs, tapered leaf springs coil spring and torsion bar and a rubber spring, compression spring, compression shear spring, steel reinforced spring, progressive spring and phase shear spring and in air spring, bellows type air spring and piston type air spring. We will look into the four different types of steel springs that is the leaf spring coil spring, torsion bar, truck. Front axle. The automobile phase is mounted on axle, not direct but through some form of springs. Generally front axles also contain all the steering mechanism. The front axle are of two types. One is live axle and the other one is dead axle. Live axle is the one where 
the engine power is directly transmitted to that axle. If no engine power is transmitted, then such axles are known as dead axles. Picture on the slide shows you the actual photograph of the torsion bar. Leaf springs or laminated springs. Semi elliptical leaf springs are almost universally used for the suspension in light and heavy commercial vehicles. The figure shows you a rear axle leaf spring of semi electrical type. The spring consists of a number of leaves called blades. The blades vary in length as shown in the figure. The composite spring is based upon the theory of a beam of uniform strength. The lengthiest blade has eyes on its end. This blade is called the master leaf. All the blades are bound together by the by means of steel strap as shown. The spring is supported on the axle, front or rear by means of an U bolt. One end of the spring is mounted on the frame with a simple pin, while on the other end the connection is made with a shackle. When the vehicle comes across a projection on the road surface, the wheel moves up, deflecting the spring. This changes the length between the spring eye If both the ends are fixed, the spring will not be able to accommodate this change of length. This is provided for by means of a shackle at one end which gives a flexible connection. The picture on the slide shows you the actual leaf spring set on a rear axle of a vehicle where you can see the shackle and the U-bolt steel strap Coil springs. The coil springs are used mainly with independent suspension, though they have also been used in the conventional rigid axle suspension as they can be well accommodated in the restricted spaces. The energy stored per unit volume is almost double in case of coil springs than the leaf spring. Coil springs do not have noise problems, nor do they have static friction causing harshness of the ride as in case of leaf spring. The spring takes the shear as well as bending stresses. The coil spring however cannot take torque at reaction and side thrust for which alternative arrangements have to be provided. Sometimes a helper coil spring can be used to provide progressive stiffness against against the increasing load. Hello everyone. Today we will deal with the suspension systems. That is module 3 of automobile engineering part 1. And the presentation deals with the type of front axle, suspension, torsion bar suspension systems, leaf spring and coil spring.